If the text in your slides is hard to read and you've tried everything and nothing works, don't worry, I got you. I will show you four creative ways to fix that using PowerPoint. So we've all been here with unreadable text and it doesn't matter if we change the font color, it's just as bad. So for the first way, we're just gonna insert a shape. So let's click on the rounded rectangle shape here. And let's make sure that we're covering the whole text. With the yellow dot, you can change the roundness of the corners. And now let's go to shape outline here and select no outline. And let's change the color to white. And holding shift on your keyboard, let's select the image as well and right click and send to back. So now what we need to do is just select our texts and change the color of the field to black. And that's our first way done. This is the most basic way to do this. And I'll show you how to animate it a little bit later on this video. But for now, I'm just gonna put it here. This looks pretty decent, but if we want to see a little bit more of the image, let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. I'll click on our rounded rectangle because we're gonna change the color. So go to shape fill and select black. And we're gonna need the format shape panel. So right click on the shape, click on format shape, and you're gonna get the transparency option right here. So let's just increase it a little bit. And then you just have to select the text and change the color to white. If you feel like it needs more contrast, you can decrease the transparency slightly. And that is our second way done. This was so easy and it's already looking like it's blending with the image, but let's take it a step further. Let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. And now I'm gonna get rid of the shape. I'm gonna insert a rectangle and it's gonna take the whole left area of the slide. Again, we're gonna need the format shape panel. So click on no line and then on gradient fill. Let's drag these handles right here down. And let's change the direction of the gradient to this one. Let's move these two handles closer to each other. And I'm gonna change the colors of both of them to black. You just have to select the handle, click on the paint bucket and change the color. For the one on the left, let's increase the transparency to 100. And for the second one, let's just increase the transparency a little bit. So now we can extend this shape all the way to the right. Now holding shift, select the image and select the gradient and right click on them and send to back. And now we can just move the text a little bit to the left and we'll get this awesome gradient fading effect for our image and now our text is just more readable. Now for the fourth way we're going to take the advanced approach. So duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and let's get rid of this gradient. And now we're going to copy the image and paste it and I'll just put it exactly in the same position as the other one. Now right click on it, format picture, let's go to the shape effects panel here click on artistic effects and select the blur option. Now you're gonna get a radius panel here. So let's change this one to 80. And now let's click on the image icon here and change the brightness to minus 20. Now click on picture format, then crop and move this handle to the left like this. Then click on crop again. And now let's select our texts right click on them and bring them to front. And now we have this amazing effect that kind of looks like a frosted glass. It looks amazing. Now I'll show you how to animate these four styles. So let's go back to the first one. And for this one, we'll do a basic animation. So just select the shape and the text and group it with Ctrl G. And now go to animations and click on fly in go to start next to the animation pane and click on with previous and let's click on the animation pane. Now right click on this element here and go to effect options. Let's change the timing to one second 
then go to effect and change smooth end to one second and click on OK. And now we have this super quick animation. For the second one, I'm going to keep it simple as well. So I'm going to group the shape and the text with Ctrl G. And let's just click on animations fade. Right click on this element from the animation pane, click on effect options and change the start to with previous and duration to one second and click on OK. So now when we play it, we have this very simple but very effective animation. For the third one, let's do a professional and minimalist animation. So click on the gradient, then holding shift, click on the text as well. And let's just group everything with Ctrl G. Let's click on fly in, but here let's change the effect options to go from left. Now click on the animation pane, right click effect options. Let's change it to start with previews and then duration one second and also activate smooth end and click on OK. And our third animation is done. For the last one, we're going to use the morph transition. So duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. And now let's move the text to the left outside of the slide. Now click on the blurred image go to picture format, then click on crop. And we're going to move the crop area to the left. Be careful not to move the actual image. So if you click on crop again, you should have something like this. I'll move this slide up so it's before the slide with the text. Then go to the second slide, go to transitions and click on morph. And there you go, guys. That's how I made these four styles for your texts so they stand out a little bit more, so they're more readable and more fun. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite. I think my personal favorite is the fourth one, of course. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you want more PowerPoint tutorials every week and to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at LurutiaPPT. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you on my next video.